am Jill Ferris, this is Cooking for Bachelors, and today we're going to make everybody's favorite fried food. Who doesn't like fried food? We're going to start with fried chicken. I know you're licking your lips right now, fried chicken. I've got a bag of flour, okay? Any zipper bag will do, all right? You put flour, and we're going to season it ourselves. We're going to make our own breadcrumbs, so to speak, or flours. We're going to put in some salt. Now, don't really worry about how much. Put what you like. You like salt? Good. We're using sea salt, fresh ground pepper. We're going to put a little cayenne pepper because this is going to be fried chicken and fried onions, or as I call them, frizzled onions because they're really thin and they get nice and crisp. Okay, and a little sweet paprika. It's always nice to add that, that sweet paprika because you get nice color. All right, then what's lovely about this is you zip up the bag and shake it. All right, and now we're going to put our chicken in. Please don't put all your chicken pieces in at once. And you can use any chicken pieces you want. Okay, you leave the skin on, cut off the excess fat. I'm going to get a plate. And you can put maybe two pieces in the bag at once and just shake it around or toss it around to coat all sides. Now, some people like to soak their chicken in buttermilk. However, I'm going to make this so that it's friendly for all nations and we're not going to use dairy on our chicken. Look at that. It's going to come out. All the nice colors are going to come out when it's cooked. And you just coat it all sides as much as possible. Fried chicken is one of the mo more tedious dishes we're going to do. I'm admitting that. I'm going to tell you already. It has to be double fried, which means that you're going to turn the chicken over twice and it does take a while and it has to be watched because you are, ta you are talking about hot oil and that means that there's a margin of error there so you don't want to leave that. This is something that is not one of our 15 minute meals. So I'm just telling you that but it is delicious and when you do it yourself you avoid all the other you know fast food things that happen to food. All right, we're gonna put that aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do it the same thing to our onions. We're going to break apart sliced onion. Use any onions you like. And we're going to just put it in the same bag. And you don't have to worry about that chicken thing, like if chicken was in a bag and then you put something else in, because this is all going to be deep fried, which means it's going to be cooked at a very high temperature. So you really won't have to worry about that. I'm just going to toss the bag around. Oh, well, look at that, a little break. So maybe when you do it, you do it over the sink. So if you have a little break, you don't have to worry about it. OK, I'm just going to take these out and get them ready to get fried. So you want to shake off as much of the excess flour as possible. And the wetness from the onions was enough to make the flour stick. So these are coated onions. Now you can actually cook these without coating, but hey, we have it. And that's the best part about this. Might as well use it. Now what we're going to do is cut up a potato to make french fries. Who doesn't want to eat french fries? That's my favorite. And what I'm going to do is just cut them in round, thin slices. Whenever you're cutting, take your knuckles and bend them back, which prevents you from cutting your fingers. And the other thing is, don't talk to the camera while you're cutting, <laughs> although I am. And you can use any potatoes. This happens to be an Idaho potato, which is one of the most common potatoes. You can use Long Island potatoes. You can use sweet potatoes, which are really wonderful when you fry them. And that's all you have to do is cut them up and drop them in oil. I use safflower oil or sunflower oil. I don't use canola oil. People talk about it being very good. But I find that when it cooks, it has a very smoky, kind of, it smokes, and it has a burnt smell to it. So I do not prefer it. I really like to have safflower or sunflower oil. They're very light oils, and they're pure oils, and they're very good for you. Okay, we're just going to take the potatoes and get them ready to go. And now we're going to make fried fish. So right now we have a piece of tilapia, which is a very 
uh, strong, hearty fillet. A lot of fillets are very soft and they're very difficult to fry because they'll break apart. They're better to bake. But tilapia or catfish are like very, very strong fillets and it's very tasty. And we made our breadcrumbs before. You can go to that video, herb breadcrumbs, or you can use a store-bought breadcrumb. But this is very nice because we made our own with fresh herbs. And you just take it out of the egg wash, dip it in the flour, and shake off the excess. We'll put that on a plate and get it ready to go. To accompany the fried fish, we're going to make tartar sauce. What is tartar sauce? Basically, mayonnaise and pickles. That's right, you can buy it in a jar, but I prefer to use the pickles that I like, which are Israeli pickles. The reason why is because they're very garlicky, very sour, and they're also a little tangy. There's a little spice in them. And they're nice and thin and small. We're going to cut them lengthwise. We're going to cut a few of them. And we're going to try to cut them in smallest, smallest pieces. And we're just going to slice them lengthwise and then cut them across. And you can cut things all together in a pile. You don't have to cut one pickle at a time. Remember your sharp knives. Sharpen your knives before you do anything and everything will be easier to make. We're just going to cut small, small pieces and put them into the mayonnaise. My kids love this. Better than out of a jar. Any pickle juice that you can add to it is going to be delicious as well. And you just mix it around, and that's all there is to it. Just keep mixing it until it's all blended. And then you can serve it as an accompaniment to your fried fish. One of the most important things about frying is that your oil is really hot. We're doing frying with safflower oil. Please don't fry with olive oil. Olive oil has a very low heating temperature and it will burn. You need something that will be able to fry for a long time. I've got actually two full containers of oil in here to fry the chicken. It's hot enough now and you can see because it has veins in it. It actually, you can see little lines that are floating through like marbleization. You hear that crispiness? Look at that frying. That's going to be wonderful. That's exactly how we want it. Wow, this is great. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Who doesn't love fried chicken? And there's enough oil in here to put all six pieces. Make sure you have enough oil. Don't crowd your food in here. Now you can cover it to reduce all that boiling oil, noise, and splatter. Now we have oil in the frying pan. This is a very little oil because we're cooking the fish. We don't want to deep fry it. We only want to saute fry it. And here we go. That's got a nice sizzle as well. We're doing very nicely. How do you know this is ready to turn over? Is it's going to be brown around the edges. Now we have our oil for the potatoes. And we're going to throw our slices in. Put them in individually. Sometimes when you put them in together, they will stick together. So you just want to make sure they're separated them in one by one. Please be careful when you're working with hot oil. Pay attention to it. It does <coughs> tend to splatter, especially when you're putting in food that's wet. These are great. Oh, nice. And you can cover that as well. You want to pay attention to your fish most of all. And what you want to do is prepare plates with paper towels on them so when the french fries and the fish and the chicken come out, you can put it so it can blot the excess oil. Wow, look at this. We've got this fried chicken here. I can't wait to put my teeth into it. With the fried chicken, I have maple syrup and hot sauce. It may sound strange to you. Try it. You might like it. And here's some frizzled onions, which use the same seasoned flour and oil that the rest of the food was cooked in. We have our french fries, little round french fries with ketchup, and our fried tilapia, 
with tartar sauce. Please enjoy this. <laughs> 